you finna fake with you? Don't think no for you break hey, with you. Smoke ball on my face, bitch, pace with you. If it ain't about bread, I have to wait with you. Bills don't care where the money from. The only outcome, me and Carl. Let's get it. Pick a block to the noise, every sin, every crumb. Get it how you live, where I'm from. By the way, this. World clouds, moons, and superstars. It's your boy Slim. Hey. I am country. And welcome to another episode of Coast Airs and Ash Trays. What up, nigga? Man, I'm feeling so good, man. I can dance, but no happy feet. How you feeling? Oh, uh, man. Hey, man. I'm black. I'm alive. I'm ready to talk some shit. God damn it. Hey, man. Without further ado. It's a full-time job believing in yourself. No days off. <laughs> I thought they were going to say something different. I thought you were going to say it's a full-time job to kill niggas. <laughs> hey, yeah, say yeah, you mind being kind. I drink to that. Rewind. <laughs> Fresh, nigga. It's a full-time job believing in yourself. No days off. Oh man, bear witness to the great Ain't Nothing Late, episode 208. What happened, y'all? Coast and trash. Y'all don't know it, but we took a little break, man, to celebrate, you know, Labor Day, you know, vacation and my birthday, whatever, on some early shit. Uh, now, I'm so happy to kick it with you motherfuckers today, man. Hey! This past week, man, a lot of shit done crossed the radar, done hit the motherfucking scene, man, and... Pull up to the scene with my silly missing. I kind of want to talk to y'all about it. That's a good song, by the way. Hey, you know another song like from that nigga a lot of folks talk about? It. I'm different. Uh, not even that one. It was, uh... Oh, no, I was just talking. That's the song. I feel good. I feel good. That my shit. Sometimes... I mean, I'm going to get the shit I wake up too late on. But, uh... God damn, hey man. About to get into it. <laughs> first thing first, man. I want to call this episode Selective Outrage. You niggas had, oh, correction, not, not you niggas, but niggas as a whole have been on some cartoon shit for, 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 at, least for at least a week. It's been longer. But this week, particularly, you niggas have, <laughs> niggas have got their. Not particularly. Put, specifically, even. Uh, no, 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 Atlantic. Uh, <laughs> niggas done been on some cartoon shit, man. Help on the way. <laughs> Aye, man. Let me let 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 get into it, bro. So this week, man, was the announcement of who's gonna headline the Super Bowl performances, man. For those who don't know, uh, the Super Bowl 2025 gonna be in uh New Orleans. You feel me, Louisiana? Go Saints. Uh. <laughs> Saints fan here. Mm -hmm. You would say that. Yeah, I mean, uh, who that nation? But uh, <laughs> they say who that? <laughs> who we that? Shout a red on the track. <coughs> you know, I buried the Falcons when I buried my grandma. So goddamn. Since 2013, I ain't really been fucking them like that. But um. But I'm trying to hear me out, but I'm taking some real shit. This, this, this deviate. But yeah, 2013, man, when they went 0-6, nigga. I buried my grandma on the 13th, nigga. I said, fuck the fact with them, nigga. You hear me? Um, but anyway, the reason why I said y'all, the reason I said niggas got selective outrage with this Super Bowl shit, man, because hear me out, man. Granted, Jay Z wasn't part of the, the the coalition at the time frame, but in 2019, my nigga, that shit came to Atlanta. You heard me? You know who was the headlining? First of all, Atlanta, now fuck dumb shit. You know the first thing I thought when they when they, when they said that it, uh, everybody made by Super Bowl, I like I thought niggas boycotted the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought we were boycotting, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? Well, why, why niggas such an outrage for something I thought we boycotted years ago, you hear me? 
<laughs> and I ain't gonna even shoot no quit, my nigga. Some of you motherfuckers should have boy. A lot of you black folks should boycott, cause y'all y'all is down. Y'all is die hard fans of teams that ain't never gonna make shit, nigga. You feel me? You and, know what I'm saying? Wild card. And if they make it, they blow the opportunity. Playoffs? You talking about playoffs? Playoffs? I just want to win a game. <laughs> Those who know know. Uh, <laughs> and if you don't know now, you know. <laughs> I forgot what boy's name, but he was, he was he was the coach for the uh, for the coach back in like 07. Yeah, you know, they like playoffs, playoffs. I just want to win a game. I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, nah, I thought niggas would boycott. I thought as a community. We boycotted the NFL. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Silly of me. <laughs> Silly of me. Yeah, you know I mean, but he, the reason why I said the shit was goddamn, I'm like, what we our nigga outraged back in 2019 when they came to shit here and we were maroon fast, somebody else, and big boy. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, this is Atlanta, nigga. Like, <laughs> like, 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 no, like, no offense. Atlanta done help. Then then made then made the music industry rich for the past twenty some years, you feel me? After they why you know, why fuck let's be honest, man, why the whole time for the for, for the previous ten years before that, they tried their hardest to keep us out of that. They they, they call it disparaging words. Bammers, hicks, country niggas, you feel me? The audacity of you try to use something that's beautiful as country as a as an insult, you trout mouth motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Fuck them, first of all, yeah. You know I mean, not all love them, just the ones who, who hold their bikes. You feel what I mean? Like, hit me out. They wait, nothing they kill. They like bikes. Huh? They bikes. Ho ho, they bikes. You feel me? You know what I mean? Another reason why I feel like a, mother, a bunch of motherfuckers ain't shit. Unlike nigga. Like, you trying to tell me in the home of Outcast, Killer Mike, Goody Mob, T.I. T, uh, Ludacris. Ludacris. At, at that time, Pluto and goddamn fucking Migos, nigga. Sierra. Gucci. Guwap. You feel me? Even Jeezy, if you will, nigga. Dig even deeper. You dig me? Jermaine Dupri. You 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 had the home. Of, you had the home of so so death recording star. Wow, wow, Soldier Boy. It was the brat, nigga. The brat. To, to, to me, who who all, edge. To me, who I would be one of the top five female correction women. Women rappers, you feel me? Despite her alternative lifestyle and all that shit. Where the party at? You did me, goddamn. Six four, six so oh six nine four. You feel me, like I, nigga? I, I did one twelve. Well, hey man, that, that bad boy. Um, well, I'm here to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, hit me out. Fuck the dumb shit, nigga. If you mention, if you mention George and don't mean and don't mention Outkast, nigga, what you listening to? It's a lot of people. Kilo Ali. You know what I mean? Organized. Once again, organized noise. Well, that uh, that ooh, Tiny that, group escape. That that orange group. That t- escape was uh, so so dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Goddamn. Um. Yeah. So so dope had jagged edge. Well, the, the ones that matter with jagged edge. Goddamn. I think Nelly had like a a a, 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 deal, a partnership deal for like a project or song or something. Is that Nelly? I think he probably had like a little mention deal. Like Nelly a went song. crazy with Saint Lunatic though. Nah, that nigga went stupid with goddamn. I mean, I, after his first run, he he come back with that goddamn my my you know what I'm saying grill shit. You know what I'm saying grills and stepping on my you know what I'm saying tiptoeing in my Jordans. You feel me? Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't know, man. Like you know, couple folks had a couple things they want to say about goddamn Drove. Little Lil Wayne, but but see, I I I I I. I, I them franchises. First of all, hit me out. Let me be honest, man. The NFL is a fucking business. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? They, they is not gonna put they is not gonna put a gaggle of hood niggas. Of course not. They got down no 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 real hood niggas in, in the, that type of environment. You you on a main stage like that, you feel me? Probably the Super Bowl sub parties or after parties, probably. You know what I'm saying? The before the pre parties. They, they, let, they let the hood guy there come Open out the there. Before. You feel me? People long way. You see people long way there. You feel me? Like, two, hit me up, man. Folk getting mad about the Lil Wayne situation, man. But I don't be, I don't be honest with you, my nigga. Even if they did let Lil Wayne do the Super Bowl, he is not going to be the Lil Wayne I want to see anyway. Because a lot of the songs that I fuck with the hardest, they ain't, they, they, they ain't, mo- they ain't, they, they, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, that first, that, that, that first part, you feel me? That's first. You know what I'm saying? But then first. you gotta also look at. I saw a video looking at his current tour with his ticket sales and not selling out arenas. A lot of people supporting Lil Wayne, 
and saying that he should be in the Super Bowl, but nobody purchasing those tickets to go to those concerts. Let me stop you. Let me put a pin right there for you. Hear me out, man. When did Matrix become? When did Matrix become the reasoning behind music, nigga? When the game changed the dynamic and focused on certain things, where artists were artists with trash music that would get numbers were popular. I'm glad you said that, cause it had been a lot of it had been a lot of shit that was trash that has been uh, uh, rewarded, uh, appraised, and given award. Yeah, yeah, awarded. Yeah. We're glorifying trash music. Well, you got people like Big Sean putting out great projects, new projects, but it's not being recognized the way it should. Great art is identified as subpar. Re retarded music, stuff that don't make sense, is being looked at as. I like how you went now, okay. This is hard. This is tough. If you're not listening to it, you ain't nobody. Well, and then it like who like once again man the people uh, that don't even make the music are the ones determining this they are the ones that's creating this narrative they're the ones putting these people and, and a lot they're of the ones that put these corn balls and these people that really don't care about you let, up there in the top ranks let, let be and let, and let be and let be honest and let be honest a lot of motherfuckers that giving a lot of motherfuckers who opinion is respected in, uh in this situation don't even look like us and i ain't just talking about color you know what I'm saying? Live like us or talk like us, my nigga. You feel me? <clears throat> it's a cut. It's, it's a lot of black niggas out there in there, bitch, who are, who are, who are influencers who who don't. I ain't saying that only only niggas who grew, who didn't have shit should be able to goddamn benefit off this shit, man. But goddamn, the have nots is kind of what the culture came from. From from. Even even from the even from them up top niggas, you heard me. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you did me. Like the 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 premise of this shit came from the had the have nots. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Not having the greatest of everything, going to public schools with with with, with, with shitty ass. You know what I mean? Even though I, I even though my high school kind of one of the best high schools in Georgia at the time, Frank. It's just that we 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 from a small ass city at the time. You hear me? Uh, but you know. Uh, it's just a lot of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I had the question to show it. I want to, from DSA, what up, DSA? Uh, I want I, I want to throw it at you. Can black folks be culture vultures? Yes. Let me hear it. You have a lot of people that lean on the culture for financial benefit when they don't care about them. They don't care about the community, the people around them, but they know they can make, they can have a financial gain based on who they are and what they're doing. Hmm. So they're not really putting they're not really creating an impact within the community, but they're doing things. To prime example of uh, artists, different people that just they utilize us. We're gonna do what? Purchase goods, purchase music, support a brand. But then they get back to a whole different community, but not even their people. Oh uh, man, so motherfuckers didn't care about the culture to, 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 to the culture became marketable, huh? Because you will market to us, but don't give back. Huh. But and then had the audacity, you, they had they had the audacity to get it, turn around, then one talk down on niggas. Ain't that about a bit? Now, I would say vice versa in our culture. When people try to do something good within the community and then people out here doing reckless stuff like trying to rob you, steal from you, when you actually trying to give back, that makes you not want to go back to that particular area. Go back and give back because of those certain things. Yeah. Trying to help you improve, but you out here proving everybody the point. The nigga, they killed Nipsey in his, in his neighborhood, nigga. Kill him in his own neighborhood. Girl, we like Nipsey will be coming more influential, more influential and bigger than a lot of those older old heads in there, you know, when you look at somebody like, y'all, you glorifying this young boy that's doing all this, but we're the ones that been in here, you know, they into such and such, whatever. But also, also, man, let, 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 let's be honest about a lot of shit, man. Some of these, some of the old niggas is, 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 not all the real ones survive, my nigga. Right. Like that, 
Man, he, man, you know, you know, you know, I've been hearing my whole life on rude and disrespectful when it come to older folk. I like now, nah, my nigga, I just look at shit different, my nigga. Now, on my grandma grade, the way I look at a lot of shit, man, like, you, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, they always try to goddamn beat into us, respect your elder, respect your elders. Not all elders deserve to be respected, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's I a, respect to them disrespected. Man, no, nah, I just, I just respect that, that, that I just respect that you here, my nigga. I respect that that, that, that you got, that you, you got some gray, in your, you got some gray in your motherfucking hair. That's it, cause, cause a lot, cause, cause a lot, a lot of you, a lot, of, a lot of niggas soft, and I ain't just talking about no goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about even standing up for no real shit. Motherfucker don't even stand up for nothing, nigga. A lot of old niggas is, is weak, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you, yeah. you, you know, you when, know. When the time matters, going back to what you said about influential people and black people. Yeah. When the time matters, when you supposed to put your money where your mouth is and get back, why are you getting on live saying, let's donate to get back to the, you got the money and the power to change this right now with yours. Why aren't you doing that? Better put a pin there. I'm gonna I'm, I'm use that for why a while. Are, are, why aren't you utilizing your resources to do this? Why you give, give, help donate? You worth over 500 million. What's you giving? What is so hard about you doing this? Cause billionaires, cause you don't stay rich by giving by giving shit out. Exactly, but then again, the powers that are above you will let you know don't do this. <coughs> so now you you have to hit me up. You go under the radar. If I'm if I'm gonna call out everything, let me call. Let me, if I'm gonna call out one thing, I will call out everything. If I if, if I got if I got my if I got my radar on it, let's talk about Jay Z, my nigga. Goddamn Jay. As a fan of his music, man, you know, as far as music go, I'm a fan of what he does. You know what I'm saying? Mu mu musically, musically wise, you feel me? Ar artistry wise. Mm -hmm. As an artist, okay. As an artist, I, 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 I admire his uh, art artistic view and creativity. He's a shrewd businessman. Now, now what people, what, what, that's, uh, what people got fed to realize about words is, when you hear the word shrewd businessman, that means that nigga cut though. Yeah, you know I mean. Basically, the culture, the, the culture since, since fuck dumb shit, since goddamn we got free from slavery, at quote quote unquote, yeah, you know I mean, uh, the, the culture, people don't give a fuck about culture until they can make some money off of it. One, 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 people realize that the, the that, that culture can 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 be used to. Increased funds because it had been studies done about this shit, man. The black the black consumer is an emotional consumer. The you know what I'm saying? If you can appeal to the blackness of black folks with anything, black folk gonna ride with it. You heard me? From 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 music to bullshit, politics, sports, anything, anything that anything that got dealing with anything, long as you can appeal to the blackness of black folks. With, with, with what the fuck you doing? People have realized that that, that that is a key tool to making some money. That's bull. I mean, it ain't right, but it is what it is. All the takers. Hear me out, man. Jay used to be a try. You know, what I'm saying like, how you gonna be a black political leader when Colin Colin Kaepernick was going through what he was going through? Then to turn around and become become part of the Super Bowl halftime show committee. You know what I mean? We gotta start calling shit out, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? This just the 90s all over again. Cause I, but that's it, why people, know, like, like, people like, look at that position I'm, that he got I'm, in was like, oh, we got somebody in power. No. It's the 90s all over again. Hear me out, my nigga. With the, with, with the rise of gangster rap, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn. You had to have something black to combat it. So now, so now you got these up righteous niggas, which break off into the two subsets. You got you got you got your religious church niggas, and you got your your your, 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 your what they call your hotels, your your up righteous. You know what I'm saying? Your your your, your righteous poor teachers and shit. You feel me? Somehow both of them they became the subsection of the same shit. They talking they hate it. You heard? Me? You know it's easy, it's easy to be a, a higher moral ground. When something is when something is deemed and viewed as something bad, <laughs> what up? But like I said, as a coaching man, a lot of shit we need to goddamn change. We bring me to my second goddamn my second story, my second part. But we got time. Kendra dropped a new song about 
Some people call it ain't got no title. Some folk call this shit goddamn um uh, Watch the party die, you heard me. I watch a whole bunch of niggas with, with microphones and cameras hop on hop on future internet talking about goddamn this is a diss toy Drake. I'm like, this is where we fucked up at. Cause niggas don't listen to shit. Goddamn, cause anybody who really heard took the time to heard the fucking song, it would tell you they ain't no they ain't no Drake this. That's a mirror at the fucking culture, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That nigga talking about something we got to kill. But but, but, but my boy my boy said my boy said we got to go down wash the village, nigga. Wash it. Cleans up all the fuck shit that been going on, my nigga. You know what I mean? It's a few line, it's a few part that really stuck out to me, man. First of all, the cover, the, the nigga put some Black Air Force Ones. Not new. Used, bent, destroyed, tied to the max Air Force Ones. And somebody pulled it and said it was off an of eBay picture. <laughs> Here we are, right? I, I hate how the internet did this shit. I hate how they call it Black, For Black Air Force One. I don't so used to call them shit Black Forces. You feel me? Black Forces. You know what I'm saying? I'm so used to call them Black Forces. To Black Ones. You know what I'm saying? You did me. You know White Ones, Black Ones. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just used to call them Black Forces. To, 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 to hear all these internet people come on there, bitch, I'm some Black Air Force Ones on, like, some of y'all ain't from where y'all claim y'all from. Because cause niggas, cause, cause, cause niggas from, from, from slums and, and poor places, they got time to say words all the way out like that. You feel me? Where you going? Going to cut the ones, the Black Ones real quick. Black Ones? You know what I'm saying? Black, white black Ones? Low black, black, black Forces? Black, low Black Forces. Got to go get them Mid Forces real quick. You know what I mean? Out. Yeah, then I remember when me. Like we said Reebok, we used to say we're going to get the soldiers. Hit, hit me out, right? When the mids became clowns, you feel me? Like, I remember, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, they're like, oh, no, nah, you got the mids, you lame. Really? Bruh, I remember for, for a while, from like, from, 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 from 2000 to like, oh, shit, at least about 03, the mids were the, one, were the way to go. You know what I'm saying? It was so hard. The only, the only reason why the highs, the only reason why the highs was so live because you could take the scrap off. But see, it depends on what highs you got though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the highs you took the back strap you off. You take the strap off. It was off. easy. You did. The mids, it was. They, but the mids always had different colors. Were white. I ain't never strapped my mids though. I lace my mids. I lace my mids a certain way. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hear me out. Hear me. Hear me Skip out. Skip the me out. loops. It's some shit going on. I got some black ones on. I'm a strap the bitch in. You know that way. I got, I got good anchor support. But that besides, <laughs> but it, I, I ain't doing anything illegal. You it know, was anyway. easy. When I was starting get when I was getting forces, it was easier with <coughs> with mids to play to play ball in them. Not saying I couldn't play ball with the lows, but ankle support. You know what y'all played them ones though? Rasheed Wallace played in the yeah, highs though. Yeah. And he had the back strap well, they, one they, to go they, around. They, he had that they, dangling. They, they oh, he still, took it they, off. They still won. Right. Yeah. But that's what he played the majority of his career. But um, I right, hear me out, right? I might lose some friends with this one, but fuck it though. That's you every got time. It got to call it. got to call it how you got to call it, man. He had in one line saying, "You can't blame the women. You can't. You can't blame the women for choosing clowns and nourishing them when goddamn they ain't got. This is what they got to choose from. You feel me? You know I me. Mean? I like to read deep into shit. You can't call the women. You know what I'm saying? You can't say the women birds." Without, without explaining that a lot of niggas is ducks, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You can't complain. You can't complain about how fucked up the women is when the niggas is got down. Niggas, niggas done decreased in, 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 in character, uh, uh, mentality, and substance, if you will. You heard? You know? I, I, I know, I know, I know. Niggas gonna feel away. I know I suppose it's, it's supposed to be, oh man, these bitches just fucked up. Nah, my nigga. Nah, my nigga. You got everything. It was, I, 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 science, science will tell you. Trial and error has a cause and effect, my nigga. You did, you, you dig me. Can't goddamn say the women goddamn fucked off when, 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 like niggas ain't the catalyst of the shit. You feel me? Somewhere, a bunch of corny ass, lame ass, soft serve, soft serve, soft serve, nigga. Made got a bunch of money and they became the goddamn, they became the standard. They became the platform. They became the motherfucking standard. You heard me? Goddamn, you, you know, uh, got, goddamn, all, what he say, all that pillow talking started who it was. Bruh, that, bruh. I, you know, I, 
Me personally, man, the reason why I like the song, man, because I'm a, the rapper in me came out, man. The MC, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I want, if, if I were gonna talk some shit, that be type B, I'm gonna talk some shit on. You feel me? Like, 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 I like simple because, because like, it make you throwback. It make you rap. Them type, them type of beat. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it easy to goddamn to get a metro beat and say you can say some some some, some these producers so damn good, man. You can you can say dumb dumb diddy for goddamn three sixteens and this shit gonna sound hard. You feel me? You ain't lying, cause Cisco repeat repeat the same damn chorus and we were singing it, bro. And he mad about that song. You did me. One verse. That's it. Ooh, that dress so scandalous. No the nigga can't handle it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Living to be the local. She had dumped like a truck, truck, truck. Now I like what? 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 Baby movie, but 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 let me say it. Let, just in case you didn't hear me for further penetration, let me say it again. You feel me? She had dumped like a truck. Thighs like what? 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 But baby movie, what? But but all night long. Let me see the see thong. That. You know what I'm saying? Like and that made sung his heart out, so you know. Da 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 da. Baby. You know what I mean? But out right there, you know what I'm saying? That you, you you know, but like I said, man, like like you know, that's my body as an artist. You feel me? Um, I just over here felt like you got down. You can't rap if you can't rap on minimalist beats. You know what I'm saying? Cause it it it, it, it you know, R and B easy to rap. Old school R and B easy to rap on because it got a steady beat. It got a constant. It got a, it got a, it got a constant. White folks go out guitars, niggas go off drums. You know what I mean? So goddamn, it got a constant boom, snap. You know what I'm saying? You know, boom, pop, boom, boom, boom. Most song, mo, mo, most song is the bass is boom, boom, boom. Then it's just shit added around it. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it had that way for four, four balls. They get a stick. They get stretched the fuck out. You know what I mean? But. I seen the, the rapper in me was like, nigga, I love this track. Then that nigga got down. Then the part when he got like the, the D1 and he just let that shit open and let the motherfucking song and let the, let the track. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, oh man, that to me that is artistry. Like, like to me that's that's rapping. You feel me? To me, that, that, I see that. To me, that's rapping. Like to me, that wasn't a, a, a Drake this Fuck Aubrey. You know what I'm saying? This this was a mirror at the culture, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I already done took, I, I already done took, I already done took care of and took out the product of all this bullshit. Now let me get you niggas right. You feel me? Kendrick Tyler, you niggas, damn it, so am I. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Right, damn, like that, 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 that wasn't. That wasn't one of those lyrical miracle joints. It just the, it was just some real shit that can be taken into a a, a plethora of ways. You feel me? And and you know once again, man, I, I my grandma used to say everything has its time. You feel me? You know, young folk do young folk shit. Grown folk supposed to do grown folk shit. You feel me? So goddamn to hear this. To hear young niggas have more sense than young the old niggas to me sound fucking crazy. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? Once again, age ain't age just a number, nigga. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like what have you done with what have you done with your life, my nigga? You you, you feel me? Come keep it live with you, man. This shit, this thought hit me like about a day and a half ago, man. <laughs> niggas who ain't never really had a bunch of women. They want a bunch of women when they get older. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Niggas who, who, done, who, who done had women their whole life, when they get older, they, they, want, they just want one. You did. Okay. You know, I, I, I'm shit. Come, man, look, man. No, I keep my, my life private, man. I fell well. You know, what I'm you know since, since, since a younger age, you feel I had my first girlfriend in first grade, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, claims and everything. You did be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, you know what I'm saying? She, apparently, I flirt so much, goddamn. The one, the one girl was like, we met, we, we got back, reconnected on Facebook by 2010. You did. 
She was like, I'm mad at you on like, why? Cause you were my boyfriend, you just left me. I was like, we never went together. She was like, that's why we got, that's why, we, that's why I don't like you now. Cause we never said we went together. Like, we never did went together. Like to me, we never went together. We never went together. You know what I'm saying? We, we was never an item or a thing. Apparently the hoe we were. We ain't nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that was the funny thing about life here. You did me. But she. You put this false thought in your head and you just don't know that we never was the same. That's how you feel. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my voice ain't that raspy. Move, bitch. You know what I'm <laughs> All right, dude. You know what I mean? Move. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out the highway. Like, you know, uh, I was trying to be a good man to a bunch of... I, oh, man. Hey, man, we should do a relationship episode coming up with the next few months. But, you know, what, what up? Say less. Say less. <laughs> Goddamn, um... <clears throat> this is... Got me high. My... My... There's so much that happened though. Hey man, my next form of irritation with niggas, you know what I'm saying, selectively, it is <clears throat> I have heard one statement said twice by niggas with some with some influencing money and it kinda irritated the fuck out of me, my boat. Like, one well, I'm gonna tell you two things, man. I'm gonna tell you some real shit, bro. Black folk don't inherit nothing. It's uh, diabetes, the Democratic Party, and, and, and religion. We don't get nothing tangible. We don't get no land. We don't get no will. We don't get no trust. But the three, but the three things that we do inherit as a, as a community is diabetes, the Democratic Party, and religion. Jesus. <laughs> it don't even be God. It's Jesus. You, you feel me? <laughs> but Most anyway, families, not all, but yeah, continue. You know what I mean? Uh, That's your piece. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't saying all right. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm you, you speaking, yeah, you speaking your thoughts. You know what I mean? Uh, so now this whole situation with Kamala Harris coming along, man. The line that really, uh, the really, the line that that, that drove me the early way was. No, I would not do specifically nothing for black folks. Then Steve Harvey came along, double down on the shit, and saying she can't. Well, how the fuck she can't? One, you are ain't you already in office? That's one. Two. As a nigga, <laughs> like I'm getting tired of everything around me. Want me to give you? Want me to give you something? Just for a promise. Not a, well, not a, not, not a, not not a signed deal. Not, not a, a, a fucking promise. Something that's you play, something that you think you can deliver on, but you know is not a hundred percent sure. You give no, no. I, I say this. You giving false hope. Shit, I ain't motherfuckers don't even care no more. They, they don't even give us that. Yeah, man. Cause you know I'm always gonna be mad at niggas. If you don't you don't vote for me, you ain't black, Bruh, That shit turned me sideways. I guess I, I you, you 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 know I'm arrogant. Don't tell you can't tell me do they shit. They know. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me it's not a bitch ass thing. Who the fuck you tell me what? I want to be black. Then how about that? I don't even want to be black. Last night no somebody more. told me that I'm telling you who to vote for. I said you can say whatever you want. And it's, it don't, don't matter what vote. you say. Like like like. And I'm cool with you, but. You say whatever you want to like say. Like, president-wise, I don't even be stating that shit. Like, sometimes I vote locally. You know what I'm saying? If I felt like the, 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 past, the, the past four years be like, God damn, you've you been a, you really been an ain't shit representative of what the fuck we supposed to put you in there, bitch, for. The president is selected, not elected. That's all I'm going to say. You went to school. Uh, <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with school, bro. Sometimes you say that, but take school out the pitch on a lot of shit. But when you understand... Money is involved in everything. Ain't no, no, no. See, now I ain't, started, no, ain't no free campaign. Two, three in, in the, the morning, bitch. I started digging because the people I had a conversation with at that time. I said I don't talk politics, but look, I'm gonna go dig into the 2025 thing you say you're talking about with Trump. I'm gonna go look. She says 900 pages. I say no. She was like skim. I said I ain't skimming through 900, but I'm a, I'm a goddamn. <laughs> but I'm gonna go back and check out what they had to say to see what bulls came on both sides. Yeah. Because now, something that I don't do. Is making me look at what you said to really reflect and see what promises, because every president make promises that they don't, they can't uphold. 
Why would you tell people you're going to do this with student loans then? You can't do it. Don't. You get these people in power that make, fault, that make promises they can't, they can't deliver. The puppet has puppeteers. And the emperor has no clothes, nigga. I'm just playing. <laughs> no mind, no you mind. put faith into the wrong person. First of all, you put your faith into a man outside of yourself is already crazy. But so, that, 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 so, that, that, but, but this is my thing, and we don't get into this. But I'm gonna say this piece. Once you fit, once you realize who is funding these campaigns and who's backing them, then you will know what the actual motive is because those are the people that they're gonna be pushing stuff for. Yeah. So if you don't know that, then you don't even realize what you're getting yourself into. You signed up for something and you only know half the story. Forget the narrative that they spit to you. They're going back and forth to, to prove that they're the better candidate. That's their job to say stuff to make the other person sound like trash. <laughs> the main goal is to win yeah. by any means necessary. You are there to tell me what I want to hear to make me vote for you. That's the main goal, right? What can I do for you? They're not saying what I'm guaranteeing you, what I'm going, what I, what I plan on doing. Keyword, plan. Huh. You can push whatever you want, don't mean it's going to get pushed through. You can tell me whatever you want and get in. You've been there four years. What have you done? You had, you had, you got a man that tell you the truth, tell you to your face what he going to do to you and screw you over. Then you got another man on life alert. Hit me out, G. I'm keep I'm keep fucking with you. And if I did vote, I probably vote for Cornell West. But 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 but, 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 but once again, I don't. <clears throat> hit me out, man. It's two things I don't even like talking about: politics and religion, my nigga. Because I done seen that shit break up cliques, crews, and families, nigga. Re correction: relationships, crews, and goddamn fan and family, nigga. I'm like, why is y'all mad about? Motherfuckers, y'all don't even know. Probably never will even meet. And we, we don't really give a fuck about you. I voted for Obama the first time like an idiot. You know, you know, you know, I, ain't, I ain't gonna do that. But you know, I, I ain't gonna do that. But fuck it, we here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I did When you realize, go. Hear me out, man. I be, when I finally got selfish about life, my nigga. That Everything started, became clear, bro. When I started being selfish Just about life. Just because it's a black, just because it's a, uh, just uh, because the same face should not determine the way you vote. Just because it's that type of person doesn't mean that should align with what you got based on how they look. Tag me in. Or how they appear. Oh, tag you in. You done tagged in your whole self, the whole damn thing? Go ahead, tag in. Nick. Tag in. The reason, hear me out. I said this shit earlier, man. Black folk have been have been characterized as an emotional consumer. Correct, you said that. Niggas so was at that point in time me included. Niggas was so desperate for a fucking visual win. Visual win. You forget you forget that nothing tangible kinda kinda came out of the shit. Obama did more for gay niggas than he did for for, for niggas like me. You know what I mean? Which ain't nothing wrong with that, cause it, you, you know I get I don't know I don't care. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is if if if, if, if cultural subgroups and regions can get some motherfucking uh, accommodation and assimilation for some help, why can't us? You feel me? Like I don't even see why reparations is such a once. I know I say shit every once once a year, nigga. I don't see why reparations is such a big goddamn deal. Niggas gonna give it back to you anyway within the next goddamn the next six months. Correction, majority of niggas gonna get back to you within the next six months. Be broke and stuck in the same hole. But with a whole bunch of designer bullshit. Something they can't take care of. That, that depreciated value. <laughs> that they won't even be able to uphold. You can't even trade in for nothing, but for, for, for nothing tangible. You can't buy groceries with that shit. Yeah, you know I'm saying? So truthfully, man, you know. No going, matter how much money you obtain. If your mindset about money doesn't change and you don't know how to manage money, you're going to be in the same position that you were before. Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter if you go from making 30 to 80 to 100K. If you have poor money management, that's not going to change with more money. You have to develop habits. You have to have management. You have to have actual, you have to know how to say no. You have to know 
how to separate the BS needs and wants. When you figure out what you need, I ain't drinking, baby, and what you want. Off on the floor, but I love me a threesome. But <laughs> when, <laughs> when you look at different D -O -D -O, things, she's my secret. <laughs> Shocking the water, I swim with the big fish. Now, when you think about somebody, when ten, we're gonna use example, ten of us, me, you, and eight other people we know. Okay. Somebody gonna give us all five hundred k. Every okay. person thinks differently, so everybody's gonna do something differently with that five hundred thousand. Yeah. Now, the mindset is, if the person offers you a deal, whoever can hold on to this money for a certain amount of time or make a smart investment, it'll double without you even doing anything. If they say, if you could hold on to this for 30 days or for three months, I'll double what I gave you. A smart person to sit the money down and not touch it. Or somebody else will make a wise investment and just let it sit. Somebody else that don't make sense to just see the money and ready to burn it because, because it's at their fingertips. Mm. Their excuse is gonna be, I never had that much money before. Or the excuse is, well, what you expect me to do when I ever touch this type of money before? The system, you're an impulse buyer, like you said. My, my, grand, my grandma my grandma used to tell me, that little money burn a hole in your pocket, huh? I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> so you're going to have a constant excuse. <laughs> now, if you know you're going to get that same amount back to back to back, you're not going to care how you spend that 500K if you're getting it back in the next month. I mean. If you're like, oh, man. dang, I spent this. I got to Like Brewster's Millions, when they had when they had Richard Pryor in that movie where he, he was forced to spend all that money in order to get the large sum. Yeah, but yeah. that was stipulated in a will and in, in, in documents that he had to spend the money, all of it, in order to get the large lump sum. Those are small cases. Yeah. But when we get presented with a bunch of money, we're like, oh, dang. Don't go out to the lot and go buy nothing. Don't go do this. Think smart. I'm not, How can you? If you've been broke. I'm, I'm going to tell you, hear me if out. If you've been broke. Hear me out. Think about. Do you want to go back to that situation or do you want to figure out how you can expand, grow, and develop something that's going to be a lifetime? D depending on stipulations. Depending on, depending, on, depending on stipulations. My lifestyle really ain't going to change with I know, get it. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like you know, once, 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 once I knock off everything that's affected by credit, I'm really just going to be chilling. You did me. You know what I got going on. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, so like, see, yeah. It I'll makes it makes sense to handle critical critical components. Now, when yeah. you, when you when you handling business, it's one thing to put yourself in a different position. Now, when you're not thinking, but you're spending, now you're going to create something that doesn't need to be created. What's going to happen is. What's gonna happen is it's gonna create a problem. That's gonna lead you to have an issue and go back to what you dealt with in the previous and in the past. Mm -hmm. So all you're gonna do is follow the same guideline and the same path you had before because you have not figured out, you have not came up with a plan, you not have did anything. With no plan, no execution, what can you do? Proper plan that prevents piss poor performance. <laughs> 12 P's. For sure. Hey, man. Hit him with a shout out. Shout out to me, boy. Check me out at Armand Vision and also Positive Thinking Only. Give him that flood, my boy. Shout out to me. <laughs> well, that's too many more. I like to thank me. Yeah, I, uh, what up, DSA? What up, Mo at Sit 12 Customs? What up, Giggles at Roy Species of Paris? Hey, man. Where they find you at? Check me out. On TikTok, both of us at Coasters and Ashtrays on TikTok, and also Stretch the Truth on Twitter. Give me that flood. Hey right, man, you can find me both on TK Douglas with one word. You heard me on uh, Twitter X I G whatever. Uh, shit, you can hit the brand page up at Brilliant Ignorance at Brill Igno B R I L L X I G N O dot com. Well, not dot com. We gotta get that back up. Uh, <laughs> and you can hear him and I, Quim and I, up at Coast and Air Trades, one word on IG, Coast underscore Trades on Twitter. And you can email us at Coast Letter N Trades at uh, Jamail, gmail com. Say, say, hey man, um, episode out right now, the visual drop when it dropped, you did me. Thank y'all for fucking with us. 
New followers, new subscribers, new lookers, you dig me. Everybody who left a comment, you dig me. Appreciate that shit, you heard. So feel like you got something that you wanna, some parting words you wanna leave them with? Shout out to everybody that tapped into the live we did on Saturday, thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot and also, about that. Accept people for who they are, but place people where they belong. Hey man, and with that said, love yourself, celebrate yourself, stay tough, be cool out there.